we're gonna take a deep dive into the visual content creation software BizMe and how this creation tool can help you build compelling digital assets like eBooks. Let's take a look. What is up everyone? This is Fish Fisher with Review Online Course, helping creators like you find the tools they need to build their first online course. If this is your first time here, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if it's not, well then I welcome you back. Just remember, everything that's mentioned in this video can be found in the description box down below. All right, let's jump in. Ebooks are one of the best ways to reach your audience. Essentially, ebooks are books that you can read on an electronic device such as computers, smartphone, tablets, ebook readers, <laughs> you get the point. You can download and start reading ebooks within a couple minutes without leaving your chair. The VizMe software has fantastic ebook pre made templates for you, so you can start using it right away. Without further ado, let's learn how to create ebooks with VizMe. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I show you how to use this downloadable ebook asset to get more emails and how you can claim your free pair of AirPods. All right, so now we're jumping in and we're gonna take a look at how to create an ebook in VizMe. So it's pretty simple. Actually, you log into your VizMe account and then you actually go to your, dash you go to your dashboard and you hit this create button right here, this big blue one right here. That will allow you then to start creating. You're gonna see a whole list of things. You're gonna see presentations, infographs, documents, printables, web graphics, social graphics. You're gonna see a lot, but shortcutting, your, shortcutting that process tremendously, just go to documents, and once you actually click on documents, click eBooks. That's gonna give you an option right there. Then, when you actually uh, start that process of building the eBook, you can add uh, text and different size of text and different styles of text by pushing that basics button. You'll see up here in this, on this top left hand corner right here, hit basics and then go to headers and text and you can drag and drop and move all that text around. So different, lots of different styles, lots of different uh, fonts you can play around with. So it makes it super easy, especially with that drag and drop, uh, especially with that drag and drop uh, feature, that's huge. That makes everything just so, so easy. Now, now taking a look at actually adding a new page, top right here, you'll see add new page. Just click that and that way you can actually continue with the slide that you're already making or you can just add a blank, a blank page where you can just start from scratch. So those are some options right there. And once you're done actually finishing that ebook, which is pretty simple right there, let's just say it's a 10 page ebook. Now it's time to publish it, that's it. If you actually go to the publishing option, you'll have preview, share and download. And after you hit that share, you click that share button, you're gonna see uh, publish for web, you're gonna see share privately, and you're gonna see embed. It's gonna look just like this. Look on the left-hand side here, you'll see publish for web, you'll see share privately, and you'll see embed. And we'll go over what each one of those are. But let's just say you wanna publish on web because you, uh, you wanna utilize it on social media, right? Everybody's on social media nowadays, right? So uh, you can actually get this link right here publish it right there, you can grab that link and then you can share on the web. Using publish for the web publishing option will allow you to make the project public. So VizMe allows you to generate this link and then you can share that link online or you can share it on your social media profile. So when you're sharing on social media, you get Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google+, I think that's around still, email, that's so nice because you can grab this link and just move it wherever you need it to be. Another really cool option is that you can share this privately. So you can create a password and anybody who wants to view your ebook, you can then give them the password. That way you can be selective about who actually sees your ebook. And that's gonna be this middle option right here where it says share privately. You can also create a registration form, which is really, really cool. Um, so you can view your ebook and allow visitors to see it once they fill it out a form. And then also to showcase what I do is I actually download the ebook. So if you want to download it like I do, download the ebook by clicking this down, download button. So once you download your ebook, you're going to have a couple options about how to format it. I use the PDF format. That's because it's really easy to slide it into Kajabi, which is the site that I use. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But before I do, I want to jump into VizMe and kind of just walk you through exactly how to do that. So here's VizMe. You're in your account. You hit this create button and boom, here we are. Like I said, there's tons of options here. We get presentations, we get infographs, we get documents, printables, web graphics, on and on and on and on. But we go to documents and then scroll down a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Scroll across a little bit and we'll see eBooks right here. 
and you'll get inundated with a whole bunch of different templates right here. You can choose a blank template or you can actually just choose a template that fits your style. And you can see there's tons of different trends here. This is the style right here that I chose. And I will show you exactly what that looks like. How to profit and create an online course. If you want to go make some changes to your ebook, just click this button with edit, edit project and boom. And this is what it looks like in here. And here's the side bar where you can actually move through the different slides. Here's where you can add arrows, shapes, icons, animated graphics, and much more. But you literally can just grab this, drag it over, and drop it right there, which is really, really cool. You can kind of put it right there if you want it. And that's pretty easy. Now, I want to show you actually how to do this with Kajabi. Now I've just logged into Kajabi and I'm going to go to pages. This is a landing page that I created, like an opt-in page. It's called free ebook opt-in, right? Pretty, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. We are looking to customize, which means we're actually going to make some corrections and changes to it. All right. I come down here to the form. I click on the form and you can see right here, this is the form I chose. I chose PDF ebook form. That's right here that you'll see. And what happens? Well, once they put their information in, I have the option to send them to a landing page, a sales page, a checkout page, download a file, or go to a URL. In this particular case, it's gonna be download a file. So we're gonna click that. We're gonna pick the file. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna choose our how to build, and we're gonna drag that right in there. Okay. And after it downloads, here we are. You have the you have the file that you're actually that you want people to see. So, people are going to put their inf information in there, which is what we want in an opt-in, and in exchange, you're going to give them an ebook. It's pretty simple as that. And Visme makes it really really easy to make ebooks. Just drag and drop, move through the slides, see what you want, basically decide how you want your ebook to look. You can style it in any way, shape, or form. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Now, if you're thinking about creating some visual digital assets for your opt-in landing page, go ahead and check out that high converting landing page video. And make sure you click that on-screen link to claim your free pair of AirPods. That's it for this video. I'm Fish Fisher reminding you to build a course, to build a brand, to build a business. And I'll see you in the next one.